Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, it is midweek. We are talking about Hump Day Wednesday. Woohoo! <laughs> said, Thomas, I thought you were leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Right after I record this, most everything is packed and ready. The van is loaded. Lord Jupiter and I are going to be back on the road, and it'll be nice to have a little bit different perspective. I'm looking forward to it. Just a quick little trip, and I'm looking forward to talking to you from the road. All right. As we mentioned, we're chasing the moon around. Basically, there are no exact aspects, but there are some energies that I thought would be kind of fun for you to play with. All right. Here's the deal. If you cast a chart based on your locality and set it to around sunrise, sun is in Leo. So that makes Leo the rising sign, right? Now look up at the midheaven. (laughs) This is what I'm telling you. This is a little subtlety in the air that you might want to play with. The midheaven on the chart with Leo rising is Taurus. If you look at that stack of energy that's up there, what is around that 10th house midheaven or 10th house cusp when you cast your chart? Well, Jupiter is in Taurus right now. Uranus is in Taurus right now. The north node of the moon just left Taurus and is sitting at 28 and a half degrees in Aries. And I've got a new plot point on my charts, and that is the midpoint between the sun and the moon. And it's at 14 degrees, Taurus, this morning. So as your light begins to shine today, as the sun rises, the focus for you is up at the top of the chart. Look at where the expansion is. Jupiter is wanting to make you some money. Uranus is wanting to restructure or remove any money blocks that you might have. The Midheaven might be asking you to reevaluate or just take a look at where you are on your career because Taurus is ruled by Venus and we're reexamining all these things that are important to us now. And also with the North Node up there, it's telling you to very powerfully, Aries, let's stay on the high side of the timeline, that it is guiding you to examine your path related to how you do your life as far as the Very important area of financial responsibility. And remember, this is as the sun today is coming up and tomorrow and the next day. This is here for a little while, but it's only a couple of hours window. It's just a little wink from the sky saying, hey, as you get up this morning, be thinking about this area. And if there's a work related project that you could mash the gas on, that you could use a little bit of that Jupiter expansion Well, you've got the energy right there as you begin the day. So this would be a great time to set some intentions around that project. Maybe set some intentions around the people and the partners that you're involved with on it, who the client might be. All of that could come under this really cool, powerful aspect. We're just talking about something on the high side of the timeline. I'm not going to go into all the other stuff that you could bring into this. Why? Choose the high side. So maybe every day now for the rest of Leo season, you wake up and you say, Dear Uranus in Taurus, surprise me with lots of money. Dear Uranus in Taurus, surprise me with a new job opportunity that matches my soul's path. The North Node is right there. Borrow from Steve Forrest's Book of Fire. Write how he started the Book of Fire. Perfect, beautiful example of five robins on your porch in the spring, Aries, one morning, all with their beaks up in the air saying, feed me, feed me, I want to live. We'll use that with the North Node. This is a chart that says, I want to be on my highest timeline as regarding my career and my finances. Feed me, feed me. So every day in your journal, dear Uranus, dot, 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 (laughs) and make it something Taurus-related and career-related. You won't regret it. That'll be a fun little project for us to do for the rest of Leo season. All right. Now, the moon is getting ready to move into Pisces tonight. Going to be a late one for those of us here on the East Coast, and we'll be at 11.05 tonight, Eastern Time. But tomorrow, it's going to intersect, conjoin Saturn in Pisces at 5 degrees. Won't take it long to get there either. That happens at 7.52 Thursday morning when when the moon conjoins Saturn. So just be aware of that. That's a little heads up as well. Remember yesterday, Saturn opposed Mercury. So there's that separating now, that waning opposition. But the moon will be hitting that as well. So remember that Mercury is on the other side of the chart from Saturn when the moon crosses over. 
See, what I would use that for is, again, to take a look at your spiritual examination because Mercury is at home in Virgo. So there's bringing structure organization, right, to Saturn's structure organization, Pisces, your spiritual connection to the home office. And the moon is going to amplify that. And it fits perfectly with our little Taurus at the cusp of the 10th house, too. So you can take a little time out and just say, where am I really in all of this? And I'm putting together a Subconscious Mind Mastery podcast. It's going to be a series of two, maybe even three, that will start to be released this week about this very topic, about squaring up and looking at our spirituality right square in the eye. Good time to do it. I hope you have a wonderful hump day, mid part of the week, and I'll see you back tomorrow from the road this time. Sending you love. Have a great day.